Okay, okay. This is the uh, last video of this tutorial, and what we're going to do now, uh, we're going to upload the uh, sports ontology and then query it along with the university ontology. I'm using Foseki, Jenna Foseki uh, server here. Remember, we uploaded uh, the university uh, ontology before. We can double check by just retrieving all the triples just to make sure that it's still there. So you can see that it's still there. And then, <coughs> what we're going to do now, I'm sorry, I'm going to upload my sport ontology. Where is it? There you go. Sport owl. Upload it, and we can make sure that it's successful. We have 34 triples uh, uploaded. Back to Fuseki, back to control panel, use the DS uh, data set, and then we can just query again the triples, and we can uh, just make sure that uh, the sport ontology is there, as you can see now. Now, remember I mentioned that it's actually placed on metaxar.org, metaqsar.org, slash ontology, slash sport.owl. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to query the university.owl, which is placed on my personal web page, and the sport.owl, which is placed on the metaqsar website, query them at the same time, just to show you how powerful this stuff is and uh, how much sense it makes to actually... Uh, use this technology. Now, uh, I prepared a small query here with the prefixes and everything. I'll just explain what everything means in a second. Paste it there. So now I have pre prefix. I have a prefix SP, uh, which is for the uh, ontology that's that I have placed on the MetaQSA website, support and ontology, and uni for the one that we created, created before when I placed it on my personal web page. And then RDFS for a third one. So now we're actually querying three different ontologies, which is from the w3.org. Now, what I'm saying here is give me a list of all the subclasses of class favorite sport that's from the sport ontology. And at the same time, union means join them together, join the results together. At the same time, give me a list of all the subclasses of class person from the university ontology. I remember, these are actually three different ontologies placed on three different places, uh, uh, totally different places. So we can run it now and see what the result looks like. And it doesn't work for some reason. Go back there, let's find out why it doesn't work. Select class. I think this is where it doesn't like it. Yes. So you see now, we have the result set, uh, SP from the sport ontology, which is placed on the MetaQSA website, and then subclasses of class uh, person from the university uh, 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 ontology. So just, just that uh, question mark was missing there. I hope it all makes sense. I hope you find this useful. Please visit my personal web page. You'll find a link to this tutorial there, a link to the PDF file, and you'll find my contact information there if you have any questions uh, or comments or, or comments or suggestions. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.